Seize ye. Bees nothing can grow in here. Not even them blood vine or butterweed. You bees I crowding see. me. Do you thinks? Thinkers me them like this? heads put like first that. on it. Shaman bees the only one with magics to fight the hammerheads. Oh, them priests. Benders like them reeds in the wind. Yes. But she bees busy with more important works. So I want to get up this uh the ladder. What if me Which you can wounded? see right there. Yes. The best time to do it is when the guy on the bridge turns his back and walks to the north. And Taker's no enemy for prisoners. It's Feeders actually them uh and fools to them earths. He's actually the only problem. I've never been spotted by anyone in the training grounds. You bees crowding me. What if me bees wounded? So once we get upstairs inside the factory, over here on the barrels, there are two more broadhead this arrows. To them, enemy. And over in this little alcove, we find an ancient statuette worth 50, brings my total to 54%, and it's the first piece of special loot. Oh, I'm gonna do a real save again. Just this is a decent place to do it, that's all. Now I want to get down to the bottom of this waterway, but I think I'm too high up right here. Ah! Oh, just barely though. I bet I can make this work. So, we're clear of the tunnels already, and just so you know, we've cleared this first building, we've cleared the Hammerfool factory and the training grounds, and this is the creek on the map. Let's move nice and slow, as gradually as I can. <coughs> Yeah, I don't... Hmm. One more little idea to try, but... I might just have to do more backtracking than I'd like. Oh, good. Made it down. That's what I was after. So at this east end of the creek, there's a gold bowl worth 125, brings my total to 59%. No enemy for now you have to be careful Taker's of the pagan on the bridge. Hmm. He heard me just then. Hayes. And in addition to him, you have to worry about the tree beast patrolling back and forth in the creek. It's smartest to follow the tree beast, but you also have to time it so the pagan's back is turned to wherever you're facing, so I at least want to get under the bridge. Like them reeds in the wind. And to a good hiding place. Before the tree beast gets here. Now I should them man fools. Now this timing should be good, because the tree beast will turn around, head the other way. Tree beast is stuck. There he goes. Them hammerheads aren't stopped. They be builders of the whole world. There's no trees left. There's no trees. Did he see me? No, he didn't see me. Okay, good. There's another water arrow under this bridge. Then, it's also smart to wait for the tree beast to pass over there, because 
here on the far end, the west end of the creek, is another water arrow and a ladder which we'll want to take. This is a very handy entrance to the top floor of the shaman's quarters. First, let's read. Mummy doesn't know who the dancing men are, but they come to my window and whisper as I comb my hair in the moonlight. They know things about olden times. Mummy doesn't know anything. Dancing men wants me to come with them, but I don't think Mummy would like it. I'm hiding my golden comb in my bedroom rafters, just in case. They wants me to come, give plumsies and teases me. Warm nights coming and long, long summer. <sighs> <clears throat> So the pagans have seduced some little girl into their cult, and up in her bedroom rafters, sure enough, the comb is still there. Precious comb, worth 125, brings my total to 64%, and it's the second piece of special loot. Now one of the hardest pieces of loot to find in the whole game, just because for whatever reason, it doesn't gleam, I think because it's on its side and the gleam is brushed into the wood is this diamond goblet worth 150 brings my total to 69 percent oh jack knows poor points us out to us next sanctuaries so we need to get downstairs now if we drop the shaman will hear us so huh? and what she just heard I can't believe I forgot about it because I had the exact same problem in my practice run is that I just bumped into a junk bottle of wine that's sitting on the floor up here. We need to get down the stairs. We can't drop or she will hear us. So we have to time everything correctly. We'll need to pickpocket her. She has a chest with goodies in it. She will, of course, green alert if that chest opens and closes. Hobbies. And we want to pickpocket her, so there are a few things to do here. But getting downstairs is the hardest move. <laughs> Let me just watch her for a minute. At some point, she's going to... Give me a bigger window. What's that? Sounder! For some reason, I keep making the mistake of taking that grass texture seriously. But it always makes the stone landing noise if I drop, so... It's a fool's errand, really. Hobbies! You beast found! Well, maybe if I move a little faster this time. She seems to be giving me a good enough window. I just have to be careful not to be seen. Huh? Oh. But then randomness rears its ugly head and she turns a different way. Still, if this is the hardest thing to do in the mission, it's actually not. There's one thing that's a little harder at the very end, but all things considered, this is a pretty easy mission. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. Now I'm going to pickpocket her first. Bees it up to me's and them other shamans, to leaders them all. But many will be losted. Many, many will be deaded. But no choice. No choice. Wait a minute. My bees knew I had it a second ago. Yes, yeah, you sure did. I think she's going to hear it no matter where I drop it. Bees that a sound? Yeah. With that done, the next thing I want to do is read the journal on her bed. <sighs> Just 
wait for a good opportunity to do that. <sighs> the Ritual of the Root. Givers three gifts in the taproot cave. Givers them each on the Givering Altar markings. Givers first the water on the Givering Altar for the hard oak to takers for the pall. Bees the first and olders of the gifts of the woodsy. Bees the water feeders the plants. Bees the water feeders the birds and the foxers. Bees the water feeders the folk of the woodsy. Givers next to the moss on the Givering Altar for the hard oak to takers for the pall. Bees the second and greeners of the gifts of the woodsy. Bees the moss to feeders the trees, bees the moss to smooth the earth. Givers last the bloods or the fleshes on them's bloody marking for the hard oak to takers for the paw. Bees the third and graders of the gifts of the woodsy. Bees the blood, bees the lifers of the man, bees feeders thems who eat hymns and bees keeps the tellings of the hearts. Okay. A ritual for Jack Knoll's paw, huh? Looks like I'm on the right track. So, that completes the objective. Learn the Ritual of the Root to gain access to the Jackmal's Paw. The Shaman knows the ritual, so search his area. And it gave us a new note, which of course is, To complete the Ritual of the Root, make offerings of moss, water, and blood on the markings of the Giverings... on the markings on the Giverings Altar in the Taproot Cave. Of course, our note is wrong, and the journal was right. It needs to go water, moss, blood. Lastly, Shill Green Alert when we open and close her chest. But it's got two things inside it that I want. A healing potion and a ruby tiara worth a hundred, which brings my total to 73%. Hmm, well, better get back to working. So now we just need to get out, and we want to get out the exit that's <gasps> right over here, but get that can also be kind of tough given the randomness of her patrol, but like most of this mission, it's not that bad. Thought she was gonna go farther than that. What would be great would be if she'd wander way over to the east again. Like she did when I made it down the stairs. That might have to do. Got it. Okay, good. So in here, there's a pagan patrolling the balcony up there, another one who patrols the ground level. Is that a sound? I thought she was going to hear that. If she's on her way out, that's fine. I'll just wait for her and then I'll go down the stairs like a civilized human being. And slip in behind her. I have to admit, I thought for sure the shaman was going to react to that, but she didn't. I guess I was out of range. Just barely, but that's good enough. So across from the shaman's area, in the campfire, there's another fire arrow. Watch this patroller here. <coughs> I like to wall flatten right here until he heads back to the campfire. Inside this room are a couple little things to get. A golden dagger, worth 50, brings my total to 75%, and a note. 
Detectives Log. Tonight we'll investigate multiple reports from the vicinity. Nighttime looting, strange chanting, drumming, odd smells, illegal animals. Unusual with Stone Market and with Stone Market and St. Edgar's Church so close by. No need for extra guards. I think I can handle this one on my own. Yeah, I'm sure you could, buddy. Anyway, this guy usually yellow alerts to the dagger being gone. What? Hoobie's there? Oh my goodness. <sighs> or apparently, if his animation goes just right and he swings out far enough, he can see me even when I'm wall flattened. So, let's get a little farther away. Shall we? Oh yeah. Still gotta get the dagger. Now let's creep over out of the way. As long as we're wall flattened, we should use those things missing. There's the yellow alert to the dagger. So let's just keep moving north. I'll wait for his yellow alert. I'll just wait for his yellow alert to settle. Hmm. I guess all's good, see. For a second I thought there'd be something there. Now you just heard another funky death, which happens every time I play this mission. I'll show it to you when I get there. We're coming up on the sleepsy area. I think this chest is actually empty, so I'm not gonna open it. Well, I'll open it and see. Yes, it's empty, as I thought. <coughs> The best way into the sleepsy area is up top. We don't want to bother picking the lock on the door, so. The best thing to do is just follow this pagan right here. Let's read this note. Read, keep her them bronze beetle with you always. Bijou never let it out of your sights. Diane tolded me she had a visioning it would be stolen from us by a city fool. Bees not let that happen. If you bees need to sleep, then keepers it locked in something nearby. There bees a strongsy chest where we all sleepsies. May them woodsy lord, them greats and terrible trickster, bees watching over you and our precious bronze beetle, Shaman Woodbine. So you want to just swing around. Oh, he just alerted. Damn. I think I need to move just a little bit faster to pull it off, but... You want to get to the shadows in the northeast corner. Where that moss, moss arrow is. That's a good place to work from. So... There we go, got my moss arrow, no alerts. With that done, I want to head up these stairs. Get on this beam. And I have to time him well enough, but just want to get across. and into the sleepsy area. This guy is always dead when I get here. I don't know what kills him. I've never gotten here before he died. In fact, that was the first time I've even heard the death. I usually just find him already dead. But it certainly makes looting the room easier. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope, there's not. The only thing to do in here is pick the lock on this chest. Right, left, up, down. Open it up and grab the bronze beetle. Worth 350, brings my total to 89%. It's the third piece of special loot, so of course that completes the objective to find at least three special loot items. Three found. 
that's it for here. So I like to mantle onto the table, mantle onto the stones, then mantle back onto this platform. And oops, wrong window. And cross back over the same way I came in. Now we'll clear this balcony. There's just one piece of loot to get up here, but we do have to be careful just because, uh, well, the pagan is obvious, but you see the bird statuette over in the corner. She yellow alerts when that goes missing. So just be cognizant of that as I move in and grab it. I'll, I'll wait till she's farther away. It's worth 125, brings my total to 94%, which of course completes the objective to steal at least 90% of the loot. 94% stolen. Booyah. Now, wait for her to get far enough away that she won't hear it, and just drop down into this little niche. <coughs> oh, maybe not. That's a shorter drop that I made into the waterway, but I guess I don't have any softeners on the way down like I did there. Let's try hitting the tree. <laughs> well, that helped. Let's try hitting this wall. That really ought to do the trick. Just manage it. Perfect. So wait in this niche until she turns back around and leaves. You'll notice a corpse here. This body is actually supposed to be here and supposed to be dead. I still don't know how it dies or if it starts the mission dead, but you need to carry it with you. Because remember, we had to offer blood as part of the ritual of the root. The way we do that is by dumping this unfortunate corpse onto the altar. So, a water arrow on the stairs leading down. Always fun. Uh-oh, something's been gone. That's the yellow alert from the missing bird statuette. And we move down here. We're off the map again. We're in the area that said two tap root. So as you come down here, there's one guy who patrols back and forth. We can get around him easily enough with a side tunnel. Drop the body really quick to get these two jade goblets out of the cabinet. 75 each, they bring my total to 97 and 100% respectively. So just head down this side tunnel Pick our body up again. Wait until we have a chance to slip in behind him. <coughs> There's a note I'll read as soon as I drop her in these shadows. All shamans, to havering the jackal's paw, first must be done the ritual of the root. None can take her the paw without the ritual, which bees known only to us shaman. If them paw is tookered without the ritual, them jackal's paw bees will kills they that tookered it. The foolsy pug leaf bees deaded this way in his forgetting. Bees will none us ever forget again, shaman woodbine. Okay. So, from these shadows... You can see the paw, you can see the givering altar with its symbols. So from here, go ahead and hit. The water and the moss. Oh, 
Both of those are pretty straightforward. And now we need to drop our body onto the altar and what in the well that's going to make things a lot easier the tree beast is supposed to be walking a circle around the room but he's gotten stuck that's going to make things a lot easier it's still not that hard to do you just have to uh, time the you see the shaman over on the left you have to time her patrol and the tree beast's patrol. He normally walks a very straightforward clockwise circle around the room, which gives you plenty of time to get in and out and do everything you need to do. But with him stuck, she's the only thing I need to worry about. So I like to drop the body and take it out, uh -uh. Uh -uh. just having completed the ritual. Next, I'm going to pickpocket the shaman. That's usually the best spot to do it, but it might be hard with the tree beast right there. Well, all that's left now is to grab the water arrow, the moss arrow, and the paw itself. And, you know, pickpocket the shaman, just because I like to disarm them. I like to move my pickpocket count as high as I can. It doesn't give a total, but obviously I'm one short of the mission's available total because of the suicide shaman. Okay, let's do this. Uh-oh. Is there a picky pocketer around? So I'm not going to be able to drop it on her patrol route with the tree beast there, so... I'll just go ahead and use the glitch. I'll admit this. In all of my practice runs, I have never encountered the tree beast stuck like this. But like I said, it's not that hard to do normally. You just have to time him as well as the shaman. Oh, but my quick load got him started again. Okay, fair enough. Guess he went back to a troll point and now, okay, now he's behaving normally. Moss, water, paw. The Jack Knoll's paw. Well, I guess he's not using it any longer. So that right there was kind of what you have to do, just run in and out. The only difference is I would have had to do that twice. Once with the body to get, make the blood offering, and then this time. But that completes the objective to steal the Jack Knoll's paw from the pagans, which just leaves me needing to uh, return the corpse to where I found it for Supreme, and then get out. So, we will be doing that. So, wait until you see the Pagan, follow him out. Be careful not to bump anything. Bumping into junk will give you away every time. Oops. 
One of the things I like best about Thief 3, it, you know, it makes it easier, but it's a good kind of easy, is that unlike the first two games, they built it specifically to allow you to sneak through missions if you wanted to. Looking, Looking Glass, as visionary as they were in the first two games, built some places to force you into fu encounters. In this one, they only did that in the training mission. So, slip past him, get back upstairs. It's a pretty easy road from here. We just have to... Looks like she's away right now, which is great. Head back to the niche where I first found this body. Return it. this patroller to the campfire. Take an immediate right to get back to the creek. This is the middle bridge. We went under it. It had a water arrow underneath it. It's the uh, end point of this shaman's patrol. So we can just wait for her to get here and then turn around and then we can follow her back to the entrance room. Hobbies. Oh, she can do this alone. She can see me. Devastating. Well, that was stupid. I really thought that she couldn't see me if I was crouched there. Uh, maybe I have to wall flatten. Well, I mantled up onto the railing and then wall flattened, so hopefully this will effectively hide me from her. But if not, I could just wait in time by crossing to come in behind her initially. It looks like this is going to work just fine. Yep. So, down we go. I like to move it in underneath this gear. This is a great spot to, well, I say that, but the truth is we can just follow her all the way to here. Flatten against this wall, wait for her to head back down the hall. It's always tense when they walk right up to you like that. She's leaving now, so best way out is just to get across here. The speed, like I usually do. Head up this ladder again. Get to the second floor of the entrance. Then being as careful of junk as ever. Head all the way over here. And then just jump into the tunnel and leave the mission that way end the mission that way I should say down we go you're about to end the mission do you want to continue why yes I do so this is the Jack Knoll's paw the keepers will be happy but I doubt the pagans will be as pleased there are more of them in the city than anyone knew 
and now their secret's out. I just hope that when they go hunting for their property, they don't come looking for me, too. So that's it. That's a perfect thief for Into the Pagan Sanctuary. Let's uh, take a look at my stats. Difficulty expert, time elapsed, 47 minutes. Loot stolen, 2575 out of 2575, 100%. I'm writing this down to do a ghost report on the forum, that's why it's taking me a bit of time, I apologize for that. Times caught, zero. Opponents blackjacked, zero. Opponents killed, zero. Stealthy kills, zero. Non-combatants killed, zero. Locks picked, one. Bo pockets picked, five. Bodies discovered, one. And we heard that happen. It was from the thug melee in the beginning. Damage taken, zero. Healing taken, zero. And we need to look at the campaign totals. This is the only way to sort of tease out what happens in a given day in the city, but for the campaign, my time so far is 224 minutes, my loot stolen is 8675, times caught is zero, opponents blackjacked one, that remains the innkeeper from the training mission, opponents killed zero, stealthy kills zero, non-combatants killed zero, pockets picked 18, Locks picked 32, pockets picked 18, bodies discovered 3, that's the one from this mission plus the two in day one in the city from the brawl in the streets there. Damage taken 0, healing taken 0. That's it for that. If we look at our ending gear, it's blackjack, dagger, 25 water, 5 noisemaker, 16 moss, 7 fire, 4 gas, 30 broadhead arrows. Three oil flasks, two explosive mines, three gas bombs, 14 flash bombs, and 10 healing potions, 6,800 gold, mechanical eye and lock picks, loot wise, 4,275. My items are the velvet bag, the builder's chalice, the jackmal's paw, and my keys. And I came out with a map of the tunnels, which of course will be forever useless, but let's go ahead and hit continue. That'll drop me in Garrett's apartment. So I'll just wait for the objectives to change, and then I will save and end it for now. Well, there they are. So we've completed the objective to use the South Quarter Well to enter the Pagan Tunnels and steal the paw from them. Our new objective is to deliver the Chalice and Paw to Artemis in Tursus Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. Our Landlord's Drop is still going on, and we are still restricted from messing with the Keepers. So. That's it for the Pagan Sanctuary. I will see you guys next time for day three out in the city. That's it for now. Bye-bye.